In this video, I am going to talk about Turkey Bursary Scholarships. These are the scholarships offered by Turkish government and students from all countries can apply to these scholarships. These scholarships are for bachelor, masters and PhD programs. There are 5000 scholarships and it's a great opportunity for you to do bachelor's, masters or PhD in Turkey which is one of the favorite destinations for tourists. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. So whenever I see any opportunity for students to get a scholarship, I make a video and on my channel you can see that there are many videos about various countries scholarships. One thing I always keep in mind when making a video that this scholarship is not just for once. All the scholarships which I talk about, they are normally offered by the governments every year. And these Turkey scholarships, these are also offered every year since 2012. According to a reliable source, in 2018, there were 130,000 applications for these scholarships from 150 countries. In this video, I am going to talk about these topics which have been listed here. So I will give you a brief introduction to these scholarships. What is the eligibility criteria? What documents you need? And some of the interview tips. And then at the end, I will talk about a little bit about what to expect in Turkey and what is the student life there. Now, this slide shows you a brief overview of these scholarships. Although the major program is for bachelor's, master's and PhD, but there are some short term scholarships are also available and we will talk about these in a minute. I have put some information on this slide, but then I will explain each of these scholarships in detail. Now, first let's talk about the bachelor's scholarships. What are the benefits you get in this scholarship? So in a bachelor's scholarship, you will get 700 Turkish Lira per month as a stipend. Then you will also get full tuition fee for the university, free accommodation, return ticket and health insurance. You will also get scholarship for one year for learning Turkish language. Now let's talk about the duration of this scholarship. You will get one year to learn Turkish language and then four to six years further study depending on your course. Now the eligibility criteria is that you have to secure 70% marks in your HSC or diploma and you should be less than 21 years old. So students from any country can apply to this scholarship and if you are in the final year, make sure that you will be graduated by September of 2020 if you are applying this year. And one thing to be noted is that the marks requirement for medicine, dentistry and pharmacy are higher and you need at least 90% marks in your HSC or any pre-medical diploma. Now let's talk about the master's program. These are the benefits. You will get 950 Turkish Lira per month, free accommodation, full tuition fee, return ticket and you will get one year scholarship for learning Turkish language and two years for your master's degree. The minimum marks requirements are 75% in your undergraduate and you must be less than 30 years old. And again, students from any country can apply and there are higher requirements for medical students. Now, this is an overview of PhD scholarship program. You will get 1400 Turkish Lira per month as your stipend and the rest of the benefits are same. You will get one year scholarship for learning Turkish language and four years for your PhD. The academic requirements are 75% and the age requirement is that you should be less than 35 years of age and students from any country can also apply for PhD. So this was a summary of three major scholarship programs, bachelor, masters and PhD. And now let's talk about some of the short term scholarship programs available. So these are three different programs. First is called success scholarship program. 
these are the scholarships where you can study your bachelor masters and phd only for one year in turkey and you will get these stipends per month 440 turkish lira for bachelor 590 for masters and 880 for phd per month then the second program is research scholarship program you must be less than 45 years of age to join this program and you will get 3000 turkish lira per month as your scholarship and you can avail this scholarship between a period of 3 to 10 months it's up to you how long you want to do a research in any of the institute and the other institute will also give you a certain time period within this slot the third short term scholarship is turkish language scholarship you can get this scholarship between a period of 8 to 10 months you will get 2000 turkish lira per month as stipend you will get accommodation and return ticket and the fee of your turkish language program now this is the list of documents you will need at various stages of your scholarship application and in most cases you will also need a turkish language translation of your documents and another important document for graduate student is research proposal and you must understand how to write a good research proposal I have a video about uh, research proposal step by step. You can search this video on my channel and uh, you will get some very helpful information. I have many other videos about graduate students like how to do literature review etc. And you can also watch those videos. I have listed all these documents here and you can stop the video and you can note these documents. There are few important things I would like to uh, mention here. The first is that your passport validity must cover your period of study. So it's a good practice to get a 10 years passport. And the second important thing is since you need translation of your documents, you cannot just translate from anywhere. So you must ask the Turkish High Commission for the places from where you can get the document translated and also about the medical fitness certificates. There will also be a limited number of places from where you would be able to get the medical fitness certificate so that you don't have any chronic or contagious disease. Now it is important to note that one of the criteria for selection is that you also have some social attributes and some extracurricular activities. If you do have these type of activities, your chances of getting the scholarship will increase. So make sure that if you have some extracurricular activities, for example, you are good at sports or in any other activities, you must mention this. And if you have any documents, you must uh, present those documents with your application. This will improve your chances of getting the scholarship. Now, where to apply and when to apply. So on this slide, as you can see that this is the website where you have to apply. So this is official Turkish government website, as you can see, .gov.tr. In order to understand when you should apply for a scholarship, there is a timeline available on this website. So the second link I presented here is the link to that timeline, time frame for all the scholarships, for example, bachelor, master. So they have slightly different dates. So, but all those dates are in the beginning of the year. So you can have a look at this timeline calendar, which will show you all the details. Now let's talk about the interview. There is an interview involved in this uh, selection process. So once you have been shortlisted for the interview, so you will be called to any particular city in your country because they don't arrange interviews in all the cities. So they arrange interviews in major cities. So a major city of your country, they will ask you to go there and you have to bear all the expenses. You have to arrange your flight or train or whatever journey, how you want to go to that city, they will not pay for this. And in some cases, they might allow you to have a Skype interview, but normally they don't change the date. So once they have given you a date, uh, they will not change it. You can try, you can uh, talk to the high commission and for any other questions as well, you must talk to the high commission in your country or in your city. So what happens in the interview? It is important that you take your passport and all the original documents with you because that is the point where they will uh, want to verify your documents. Even if you have not graduated yet, uh, you bring all the transcripts of your previous years to the interview. And there are three uh, main preparations you have to do. One is that 
प्रिपेयर टू टॉक अबाउट योर सेल्फ इट्स अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यू मस्ट प्रिपेयर टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ योर प्रीवियस प्रोजेक्ट्स इन पर्टिकुलर इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर अ रिसर्च डिग्री और द ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम एनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट यू मस्ट बी प्रिपेयर टू टॉक अबाउट योर फ्यूचर प्लान्स For example, they might ask if you don't get this scholarship, then what are your plans? So you must uh, prepare a very good answer to this question. Similarly, as I mentioned earlier, you must highlight your social activities, your extracurricular activities, and above all this, you must show your interest in Turkish culture. For example, why you want to go to Turkey? You can say that uh, I like to learn about Turkey. Our Turkish culture, I or, or I watch their movies or whatever. So show your interest in Turkish culture. That will be a plus point, and your chances of getting approval will increase, because that's why they are paying you. They want you to come to their country and adopt to their culture. So this is the reason these countries offer scholarships. In particular, for undergraduate students, it is very important to show a keen interest in their culture. no let's talk about the student life in turkey so in turkey student life is a little bit tougher so you have to devote more time to your studies and less to other activities so in simple words you have to study more they want they expect you to put more time to your studies accommodation is normally government accommodation they will provide you but you can also live on your own if you want to pay extra and some of the turkish universities are among the top world ranking universities so you can have a large selection of universities most students prefer to go to istanbul that is a multicultural city you will see students from all countries and you can have a good social life outside the university because normally there are not many social activities in universities in turkey so these were some of the important points i wanted to share with you about these scholarships it is a great opportunity for anyone interested in any of these degrees and in particular the undergraduate scholarships because not many countries offer undergraduate study for free so this is a great opportunity for you so i hope that you will try to get this opportunity and if you have any question you can put in the comments and i will try to answer that question thanks for watching and see you next time